Welcome back to the channel everyone, Triple M here. In today's video, we'll be showing you guys how to install full Android operating system on your Windows computer. Now, if you guys have an old computer laying around or if you have a computer that you wanna do a dual boot in, this might be an ideal setup for you because with Android guys, you get a lot of freedom. You get some apps that you won't necessarily get on Windows. And like I said, if it's an old computer that's just laying around, you might as well put it to good use. So this will be a good project to, to test out. So for this, you'll need a USB drive and you also need a computer to install this from. You can do this via dual boot, which means that you have two operating systems on your computer and this will require you doing a partition on your computer. Not extremely difficult, but I'll put a couple useful links in the description where you guys can go ahead and get more instructions on partition in your drives. So if you're new to the channel, I do everything tech from your streamer reviews, streaming news, product reviews, unboxings, and everything in between. Hit that subscribe button in the top right, smash the notification bell, make sure you select all on notification. That way you won't miss a video or a giveaway. So before we jump into the setup details, just know that this will be a two part video. The first video will cover the installation and then I'll do a follow up video just testing the functions of this operating system on the computer. So if you guys have any questions or want me to test something specifically, please drop that in the comments. Smash the thumbs up as well. Let's go over to the setup. So the image itself is from the AndroidX86.org and I'll go ahead and link that in the description as well. Uh, definitely donate if you guys uh, use this and it worked for you. And also smash a thumbs up on this video as well. So the link that I will be placing will bring you directly to this page. And you can see there's a stable version that was released February 15, 2021. And that's the one we're gonna be using. Now you can install a 64-bit or a 32-bit version depending on how old your computer is. So we're just gonna go ahead and click on that. And for this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and go to the FOSS Hub download. So we click on that. And this is where your downloads are going to be. So like I said previously, guys, there's a 32-bit right here, ISO. It's also a 64-bit. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to try the 64. And if the 64 doesn't work properly, then I'll go ahead and jump over to the 32. Generally, 32 is going to be more compatible, but we're going to go ahead and give the 64-bit a try first. So I'm going to go ahead and download that. It is 694 megabytes, so uh, it is going to take a while. So we're going to go ahead and let that download. Now, while it's downloading, the other software that you're going to need is called Rufus. Now, Rufus, what it does, guys, is basically puts that image and puts it to a USB that makes it bootable for your computer. So we're going to go ahead and download that as well. So we're just going to go ahead and download the portable version. And you can see that's already done. And what I'm gonna do is just drag both of these to the desktop of my computer. So next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and launch Rufus. Rufus. So Rufus is gonna be pretty straightforward, guys. Uh, automatically found the USB drive that I will be using. So you can see it's right here. Uh, and I named it Android OS. But if you click on the drop down, if you have multiple USB devices, you will see it in this area. Now we have to select the boot selections. And this is gonna be the ISO that we just downloaded. And now we're gonna select the boot selection. So this is gonna be the ISO that we downloaded. I do have it on my desktop. So uh, three options here, non-bootable, free DOS, or the disk ISO. This is one we're going to select. And right here, we're just going to click select, go to our desktop, and we went ahead and select the image. So here's the file system. Here's all the information. Everything looks good. So we're just going to go ahead and start the process. All right. So it's going to have some recommendation written as ISO recommended. Click OK. Uh, warning all the data will be erased from this drive. So make sure, guys, use a USB drive that you've copied your data over. So we're going to click OK. And now it's gonna go ahead and go through the process. It is gonna take a little bit. So I'll go ahead and fast forward this video. So the image has been written on USB. We're just gonna go ahead and hit close. And we're gonna eject our USB drive and head over to our computer. So the computer is a little dusty, I know, but once you boot it up, guys, with the USB inserted, have to hit F12 for a Dell computer. If you're on a different type of computer, the buttons might be different, so you're better off Googling that. So once I get to boot menu, I went to USB, and it brought me to this interface. Now, there's a couple options here. There's a live CD option, which basically allows you to run a demo version without saving any data. That's a good way to test and make sure everything will work before you install the full operating system. Now below that, you also have a debug mode, but we're gonna go to advanced. And we're gonna go where it says automatic installation. So click on that, it will go through, run some scripts in the background. 
Now it brought us to the disc selection. So of course, it's not going to be the removable disc. It is going to be the hard disc, which is 238 gigs. So we're going to select that. It's going to tell you that it's going to erase the entire drive. So keep that in mind. Everything will be wiped. Go ahead and click yes. And I was going to go ahead and write the OS to the new drive. So like I said, guys, there is a dual boot option. Let me know if you want me to do a video on that. Uh, it is going to be more um, involved, but uh, drop your comments. Let me know if you want me to do a follow up on how to make this dual boot. That way you still keep your Windows and you have your Android operating system on the same computer. All right, so it's currently syncing the disk. And here we have two options. We can either run it directly or we can reboot. Let me just go ahead and remove the USB drive. And now I'm just going to go ahead and reboot the system so depending how you have your bio set up you might have to go in here and just select your default drive to boot from so for me it's going to be the hard disk but like i said depending on how you set everything up it might be a little bit different for me on the legacy boot options i am going to select the internal hard drive and now i'll give you the three options it will start counting down and it will just default boot from the first option up top all right, so it's going through the startup. It is loading lineage. And now it's going to take you through a setup. And this is going to be any standard setup like you've done with an Android phone or an Android device. So you're going to have to go through. You're going to have to select your Wi-Fi, sign into your Google account if you choose to use the Google Play Store or the Google app. So just go through the steps. And when you're done, it's going to ask you to select uh, which launcher you want to use for this operating system. I select the True Bucket. Uh, launcher which gives you a more um, integrated android feel and a uh, good thing about this guys is that this doesn't have any bloatware it just has the default applications that you would expect from an android operating system before we cut this video just wanted to let you guys know that there's one option that you should go to your settings and select uh, this will make your google applications compatible so if you go to your settings you're going to go down to where it says apps compatibility and just want to go ahead and turn that on so I'm just going to select the launcher, select it always, but you can always go in and um, put a Nova launcher or your favorite Android launcher on here. So like I said, everything works. You can see I'm in the Google Play Store. I am able to search applications, download applications. Uh, this computer is a touch screen, so I I was able to use the touchscreen function and uh, I will be doing more testing on this. Like I said, guys, drop your questions in the comment section below. I will be doing a follow up video and just testing various features of this and see how it works with this computer to see if it's even worth installing this OS. That's it for this video. Don't forget to smash your thumbs up. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. So if you're new to the channel, I do everything tech from your streaming reviews, streaming news, product reviews, unboxings, and everything in between. Hit that subscribe button in the top right, smash the notification bell, make sure you select all on notification. That way you won't miss a video or a giveaway.